Many are calling Irma's current track the worst case scenario for South Florida. Now this is a look at the Category 4 hurricane from the International Space Station. Radioactive! Radioactive! Welcome back to the channel. Got back from Orlando yesterday and ever since we've been trying to do what we can to prepare for Hurricane Irma. It looks like it's gonna smash us this weekend. So spent the morning putting up shutters, called my pharmacy. They're sending out my meds tonight. My wife is on, on her way to my dialysis clinic to get a few solution bags that I, I will need for manual exchanges because if the power goes out, I can't use my machine that I hook up to at night. So we're trying to do the best we can. I'm on my way to my folks house. They have a ladder that I can borrow uh, because I can't get to the high windows of my house to put up shutters. So I need the ladder. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of preparation. Um, I've gone through a few hurricanes, one of them being Hurricane Andrew. If you live in South FLA or if you've heard the horror stories, I was about 10, 11, 12 years old when I experienced Andrew and um, it was horrific. And so I know what these storms can do. Jade is a little too young to understand, but I'm trying to explain to her the best I can what we're doing, why we're doing it, um, so that a five-year-old understands. And she still doesn't understand. Um, it sucks. It sucks. You know, and I'm sure you've seen what Hurricane Harvey did to Texas. It's no fun. So we need to take it serious. And I have a really bad feeling about this one. The others that have come and gone and nothing serious. It was different. This one, I just have a feeling. So I got to keep my family safe and do what I can. Oh, there's one right there. They're like wasps. <laughs> so, wasp they're getting ready for the thing. Everyone is getting oh, ready. No. Yeah, look. I pissed them off. Oh, you have. I don't want to get stung. Did you even see it? Hurricane Irma. I didn't see anything, though. This sucks, but it must be done. All done. I'm exhausted. And I was up there on the ladder trying to place the uh, shutters. Hands started cramping. My dialysis friends know what I'm talking about. I had no mobility in my hands, just cramping, which made the job harder. But all the shutters are up all around the house. <sighs> Moving on. This one, so Rocco can come out to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Those are heavy. I know. Shutters up. And we've got the sandbags. And we got back last night from Orlando, so I mean, we had no time to really just kind of, we were tired from the trip and the drive, and we had to get to work right away, so I'm exhausted, man. We're gonna sleep good tonight. And then what, they, they say Sunday afternoon, more or less, it's gonna smash. So we have 
tomorrow and whatever. Well, Saturday, from Saturday to going Sunday. Yeah, so really tomorrow is the last day to do whatever we need to do. Most of it, most, most of it we got it done today. I'm exhausted. Man. So sore. I mean, that's all you can do is, you know, take precaution and try to be prepared. Could be on the West Coast, could be on the East Coast, somewhere here near South Florida. And again, it doesn't matter. The, you know, such a massive storm in terms of its circulation that no matter what happens, Florida's going to get hit hard and then it's going to work its way to the north. It is so intense right now. I think in the big scheme of things, whether it goes up in wind speed a little bit or down in wind speed a little bit, the overall impact is going to be the same. A, a catastrophic type of hurricane here. A hurricane warnings in in the red shaded areas. All of those areas are going to start to see the conditions start to go downhill tomorrow morning and watches in the orange areas there. It's a beautiful day, it really is. And it's a lot like how it was 25 years ago, right before Hurricane Andrew. It was a beautiful day, sun was shining, the calm before the storm, I guess. Shutters all throughout the house, every window every door so we're living in darkness just a little bit of sunlight coming through all right so here's the game plan i've loaded up half of my supplies for the cycling machine the cycling machine is the machine i hook up to at night i've loaded it up to take it to my parents house because if we lose power which there's a good chance we will yeah we need to take the ladder i can't back. use the machine obviously my parents have a generator they're 10 minutes away yeah. so i can do treatment there Worst case scenario. I am concerned about flooding. If it floods, it's going to be quite hard to get all of my supplies out the door and over at my parents' house. So to avoid that mess, I'm going to take half of my supplies now. So if I have to leave, all I have to haul over there is the cycling machine and not everything else. So just trying to be one step ahead of the storm and uh, prepare the best I can. So that's the game plan. You want to take that guy's uh, sandbags? No. They've been already evacuated. We're going to take his bags and just put them. No, on. that's really mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never do that. Uh, yeah. Lay them down because we don't have enough space. Sideways? Yeah. Or maybe it should be more up. This is where the wife's OCD takes over. Okay? Simple thing here. We put the bags at the door. She has to make sure the bags are at a certain... Just relax. <laughs> Daddy, there's a funny video. So, light rain. And a little bit of wind. Good news is the hurricane's gone west. And... It's uh, now a category three, not a four, not a five. So that's good news for us. But we're still finishing up um, a few things we have to do to prepare. 
All right, so everything on the outside is done. We still have power, which is a good thing. I hate having these shutters up because you can't tell what time of day it is. I've been oversleeping because I think it's early, but it's actually later in the day because it's just dark everywhere. I hate the shutters. But we still have power. Some areas close to us already out of power, so we're very lucky. It really helps when, when you have the power, me. you know, because you have things to do. And they found the when you're in the dark, it's, uh, it kind of sucks. So we do anticipate losing power, though, because they said in our area there's a 95% chance. That's a pretty high chance. So I'm going to drop the AC by 5 degrees because if we lose power, we lose AC, and it's going to get humid and hot and sticky and nasty in here. And so my idea and I, and is I'm to make it cooler in here. Make it cooler in here so that when we do lose power and the AC shuts off, it's it cooler heat. in the house before it starts to get nasty. So let's do that. Hello. It's at 75, we'll drop it to 70. And uh, that's a good deal. So it might get a little chiliando in here. Are you prepared for chiliando? Yeah. Which means cold, so I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not ready. Oh, we're in the dark. We're in the dark. This is what I don't want. But if it happens, yeah, we, ha we have blind. flashlights. Do we have to turn the blinds off? All right, be careful. The 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 shutters are there. We're, let's just be grateful that we have power. Some people don't have power. Some people have dead power. But uh, it's currently six thirty. Coming close to one p.m. Okay. It's really going to start getting nasty in late afternoon into Sunday. So we're ready. We're ready, man. You have the pee pee? Come on, Rock. Step over the damn sandbag. Oh, now he thinks he has no space to move through. Come on, Rock. Come on, jump over the bag. Come on. Alright. Well, you get to the right side. Because you're on his way. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me, Rocco. Come on, Rocco. There's plenty of enough. You come, don't be you scared. Said it earlier. There you go. You can make it. Oh, Ow. that must have hurt. Rocco. You gonna have to pee pee? <laughs> this might be your last chance. Yeah, I don't need to. Okay. I'm gonna just pee pee in the house. You're gonna pee pee in the house? Yeah. That's right. I'm yeah. gonna piss in the house. I'm gonna take a big fat poop right in the dining room. Things still look good. Currently 2.30. Still have power. Jay! Daddy! Don't the wife said the lights were flickering. I don't believe it. Daddy, come see! It is! So. Daddy, come see! So it far, is. so good. Daddy. Well, we're hunkering down here at the house. Just finished watching some Netflix. We made some popcorn. My wife is very creative in the kitchen using just a few items that we had. Well, we had some leftover chicken, some leftover, what are these called? Costada. Tostada, tortilla chip thingamajiggies, and then we had some uh, salsa. salsa. Salsa, and then what is this? This is like a Mexican dip, which contains what? Guac, Guac sour cream, and refried beans. And guacamole. Pretty good snack. Yeah, this I is do. what hunkering down looks like. And it looks like this. When you hunker down for a for a hurricane, I help him. This is what you do. You eat. I think I've gained ten pounds already. This is not good. You find yourself eating constantly because you have nothing else to do. Your nerves are bad. Waiting for this damn storm to come through and leave. It would be a whole different story if we didn't have power. 
<clears throat> if we didn't have power, it would be a whole different thing, right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, we still have power. So, the Netflix yeah, is yeah. on, Just get the Netflix. lights on, everything's cold in the fridge. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Candy? Uh, hello, hello. But as soon as this is done and over with, we gotta get back on track because I feel like I've been eating all day. Okay. Yeah, me too. I think I have been eating all day. Yeah. So we're gonna continue hunkering down. It's currently 5.30 p.m. And uh, let's take a look outside. It's pretty calm. We don't want a hurricane to take a look. Whatever you guys want. We had some pretty nasty rain about an hour or so ago, but uh, it's pretty calm What's for the so most part. It's so windy. Sunday morning, we made it through. We had uh, power all of last night. We watched Netflix until about close to two in the morning. Went to sleep, thought I was gonna wake up with my machine. Turned off and treatment stopped, but uh, that wasn't the case. I had power all night until just now. The power just went off and it's about, uh, it's close to 11 a.m. And uh, it's pretty bad out there right now. Very windy. A lot of noise. We were lucky mm -hmm. though, because uh, we, we had TV and, and lights all night. And uh, the TV was on just a moment ago, and then boom, power went out. Checked in with my parents, they lost power quite a while back. My brother up in Pompano, he lost power quite a while back, so I'm like, wow. And I knew other people in the area um, had lost power, but we, for some reason, still had power until just a few minutes ago, so. All right. We're gonna finish hunkering down. Hopefully the power comes on by tonight so I can hook up to my machine and this thing's over. I don't know when I'll talk to you next or when there will be another video because I don't know for how long we'll be out of power. I don't know when I can get another video up. I don't, I don't know any of this. But I want to thank you for watching and kind of uh, hunkering down with us. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Pray for us. And uh, hopefully we come out of this okay. Thanks for watching. Close right to your eardrums.